Mun nimi o Viveka. That's Finnish for Hi, my name is Viveka. I want to talk about how Antarctica and my future here in northern Finland are connected. This is Helsinki, located at 60 degrees north latitude. When you turn the globe upside down, it's on the same height with Antarctica's border. The southern latitude of Finland's Antarctic Research Station, ABOA, is about 73 degrees. Let's turn the globe back again. At the same height as ABOA is Nuorgam, which is the northernmost village in Finland, and actually in the whole European Union. These coordinates are the answer to why we Finnish people know so much about cold climates. Cold winters have an impact on everything in Finland. We have to survive in the cold. When building railways and roads, we have to take account of frozen and slippery ground. The roofs of our houses must be able to carry the load of snow. Walls need to be insulated from the cold and the water pipes need to stay unfrozen. As late as the 19th century, Finland shut down for a part of every year because all of our ports froze in winter. We got our first winter port almost 150 years ago, and since then, the opening of shipping lanes has been part of our seasonal cycle every year. So it's easy to see why our expertise in icebreaking and marine engineering is immense. Antarctica is the world's coldest, driest, and windiest place. Antarctica contains 90% of the world's ice. The melting of that ice would raise sea levels, especially in the northern seas. Research in Antarctica is particularly important because Antarctica is our last chance to conduct research in an environment where the human handprint is not visible. The Antarctic Treaty devotes the entire continent to scientific research. We Finns have been full members of this treaty for over 30 years. In addition to Antarctica, we also conduct research in the Arctic. You can make a feature-length film about Finnish research in Antarctica, but here are just a few examples that come to mind. Thanks to atmospheric science, we know that climate change affects circulation and atmospheric processes. We can notice changes in both clouds over Antarctica and the behavior of seaweed. Because everything in nature has an effect on everything else. Ice core research has revealed that the ice has started to warm up Warm, fragile ice is broken by the movements of the sea, which causes the uniform ice sheets to shrink, which naturally affects the whole ecosystem. In addition to the animal and plant kingdoms, ice core research benefits shipping. The SA Agulhas the second ship, built in Finland, collects information to guide the design and construction of future ships. My last example is about Finnish geodesists. In Antarctica, they measure, among many other things, one of the longest continuous GPS time series of the continent. The results from Antarctica are important for ensuring that we can rely on our smartphones to give us directions everywhere. The international network is the foundation of research. Because Finnish research, or anyone else's, only has meaning when it's combined with other knowledge. Only then will we know where to invest our resources. That's why it's great that Finland gets to host the next ATCM meeting. Dear friends, the future of our planet is in our hands. We can find the best solutions only by working together. Finland is firmly committed to this work. I'm honored to welcome you all to the 45th meeting of the Antarctic Treaty Welcome to Helsinki. Bye bye. Tehkää viisaita päätöksiä. Make wise decisions.